Could we do anything else? Not bad. It's always worth putting a blob of oil on to try and preserve my grill Still sliding that. What I'm trying to do is just, just make sure that that, yeah, there you go, but will that work? Should do, should do. So we'll just use that first one we made as a clamping, clamp buddy, clamping buddy. So yo, yo, yo mama doesn't like it. <laughs> yo mama doesn't like it when we're uh, a little bit crude. No. Does she not, but then it's almost like she doesn't know us. <laughs> We're not that crude, are we? When are we crude? What kind of... Can you think of an example in our <laughs> recent films? Stuff that looks like balls! Oh, that. She doesn't like that. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, I mean, oh, that... we, we might have to add to that because of your uh, nutsack rucksack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, yeah. God. Well, apparently they're going to try and make it, but I can't see... I mean, could you walk around with one of those straps in your pack? So we pop those in together. Put them into the vise. Clampy. Oh, that's going to be our first one that ain't going to want to clamp. That's more like it. A little bit of oil. Just to make our drill bit last. A lot of batch production in it with these jobs. <laughs> what was that? That was kind of a dropsy. Thankfully, my hand wasn't in the way. Because there's Oh, because there's always a dropsy, yeah. See, well, that was a flying dropsy. Ooh. Because it's the last one, dab of oil. So Mark can edit it and make it look like I put oil on all of them. <laughs> but I did it. So, boom, smash, bosh, day one done. <laughs> yeah? Well, it's for you. It might be for you, sir. Oh, why? What else are you going to do? I'm going to drill the big hole in these. Are you doing that, are you? Like a boss. Oh. We need to do it. Painful. Well, it is just painful coverage, this, isn't it? It's, it, it's, it's so project, painful. Mark. It's a big bloody project. It's, it's, when was the last time you did a big project? Oh yeah, that one time. 13 is usually a bit big. Okay, so I'm sorry guys, but this is how it goes. We're on with just boring these out. Oh, you, you, you definitely are boring out. I think this drill bit might be, to be frank, it might be a bit blunty. Can you shake the uh, butterfly shape? Doesn't matter. It's no, because it's easier to drill it. It's easier to. Essentially, it's easier to do it because we can clamp it better than if we're trying to clamp onto the two points yeah. of the butterfly. Uh. But that drill bit's bullshit. I didn't really want to have to go to 13 because... Ever want to see a bullshit drill bit? There it is. There it is. Is it there? Not anymore. It's out of there, but it's still there. 9 sixteenths is just over half an inch. So what we'll do is 
Do you need well. a new drill bit? Yeah. I'm trying to limp on. Our mild steel bar is a uh, half inch. So that just gives us that little, little bit extra, 916s. Shouldn't be squeal squealing like that. That's it. But we are going to try on this one, which we haven't done on a previous door, to close our rivet, rivets properly. Oh, you know, like we were clinkering. talking. Yeah, so we've got a hammer, which I think is kind of. Really well. Tinker it just a little bit. We are going to try and close the rivets properly by clinkering. So if you remember um, the video that we showed you, can you remember way back when we were talking about the Norwegian rivets? boat builders? No, Norwegian boat builders. Some guys in Sweden that are making this huge Viking ship. I mean, it's like 65 meters long or something. They build that boat in the style that they call clinker built. And I've known that and I thought it was the planks, but it's not, it's the closing of a rivet. So they drive the rivet through the boat or a nail through the boat closed. They put the washer over the other end. They snip it off to a set measurement off the washer, snip it off with bolt cutters. And then the process clinkering is hitting that end of the nail a hundred times they say in that film with a hammer to round over and form the other side of that rivet holding it so that would be is how that hot then no it's not hot it's all done cold, cold. all cold all cold forged yeah wow so you know unfortunately i wish i'd seen that before Doosh, do, that's gonna be wear and tear isn't it so i think what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and close the rivets like that i'm sorry i've got stuff to do mark i haven't got time for all this to be honest Checking your gun there. Yeah. Sorry, no, I wasn't. Yeah. Might just do it again. So, after. do you clinker, bro? Well, I'm gonna. Tr we're gonna try. I think what we'll do is we'll do a mock up to start. Is that a cold forging? Type? Yeah, a cold cold forging. So we'll forge the head hot on one side, and then essentially what we'll do is we'll try and clinker the other side. like a baby's arm. <laughs> Weak and pathetic. Your baby arms. So one of our fans, Jamie Mullen, asked if he could buy some DSC merch, but he's afraid it's gonna cost so much because you're so talented, Al. He's, you know, I've always said about him, he's a very wise man, a very wise man, a very perceptive man. And yeah, it's probably gonna cost him. Jamie Mullen is uh, our one of our new TikTok brethren. Oh, is he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, TikTok's been brilliant, hasn't it? Is that the last one? That's it. So, yeah. I think you wanted to mention um, something about TikTok, Mark. Tickety TikTok. Tickety tick, tickety tick. You gonna you gonna do a little bit of content for our TikTok audience now? Uh, yeah, if you'd like me to. What are you gonna do? I don't know. New rap? I haven't really been. Uh, you haven't been rapping. No, I haven't been rapping recently. I've had to take some time off due to uh, other commitments. Mm, yeah. Yeah, like um, any gospel? Uh, no, I've been doing a lot of charity work, of course. <laughs> uh, ties me out though. You know what I mean? You can't just give all the time. We've got our 16 of those little bad boys kind of blanks up. Why did we do this process in this order? Because we still have, as everyone out there will well know, been with us for a while, what we've got to do is we have to, hang on, better, here we go. So what, what we do with that now is we have to kind of basically bang, cut those off, 
Um, why did we drill those holes before? Well, it's, you, when you when you're doing these processes, it, it makes sense to think about it, and it's like what what would we what would happen if we kind of had cut that little section out there? We're gripping here, 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 here only. Doing it in the bar like that, it's just better clamping, so it just makes the whole process easier. So then what we'll do is we'll slit those out with a grinder, those will go into the forge, they'll get that hammer texturing all round. Um, probably one or two of them will be stamped with our DSC uh, logo and our skull logo. Um, I don't know, we might even number this door, but there we go. So we're starting to get somewhere, we're starting to get things kind of put together, or sorry, not put together, but we're starting to get things cut out, ready to go. Uh, number the door? Yeah, number the door, it's number three in it. So it's number, number one. Oh look, there's a rivet. Oh, that's part of something else. Uh, yeah, so, but yeah. If there's a interesting slant to it, did I get a bubble of spit then? No, I, felt like I just like your choice of words, corrupt and stuff. It's also dramatic. Show your face. <laughs> Show your brave face. Say goodbye, Watson. Bye. Bye. Thanks See thanks you for next joining time. Us. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Say it again. Thanks for joining us. You say bye then. Bye. Thanks for joining. Go on. Bye. bye. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> <laughs> you mostly. <laughs> I mean, think about how empty your life would be without Dirty Shed Owl. Well, I know, it, it fucking would, Mark, actually. I'll be honest with you. I get, you know, a great deal of pleasure out of what we've, we've kind of... You soppy...